Hello, all lovely people out there. This is Kevin from CC Pipe, where we focus on productivity and pipeline for creatives. And I recently covered importing Word documents into InDesign, and uh, I'll put the video on top of the screen, by the way. And I thought I'd follow up with how to set up a handy Word template uh, with paragraph styles for that whole thing to work smoothly. And why would you want a template in the first place? Well, the strength in the kind of import workflow is using word paragraph styles to automatically get your InDesign styles applied. And uh, if your copywriter is using your template, you know what the styles are and you know what they are called. And uh, therefore you can set up a nice and easy import workflow. And I hope I already kind of covered why this technique could be beneficial in the last video, but you save time, especially when there are a lot of changes and revisions. But that said, also make sure to explain to your copy what a template is for and uh, why they should bother in the first place. And of course, also that they need to apply the styles when writing. It's uh, really a collaborative effort. Now, let's look at how to do this. Here is InDesign and here are my styles. And our main goal here is really to have corresponding styles in Word with names matching these ones in InDesign. And the actual formatting really isn't as important. And uh, just as a disclaimer, by the way, I'm far from a word expert. These are just things I learned by trial and error. But that said, let's jump over to Microsoft Word. Okay, let's start from scratch. And here we have a blank document. Over here is our style gallery and uh, kind of uh, a quick access to our styles, really. And uh, these are, by the way, the same thing as paragraph and character styles in InDesign. And I also want to click here to open our styles panel. Now, there is a lot of defaults in here and in the gallery, and I think it would be a lot clearer for the copywriter if we can get rid of all these styles that we don't want to be used. And unfortunately, defaults can't be deleted, it seems, uh, but they can be hidden. So let's make a clean canvas to work with here. And if we click here, we get the styles manager. Now we go over to recommended and select all and click on new documents based on this template and last click on hide. That should mean we now have a blank styles panel and uh, that's great. Let's now move on to creating our styles. To make a new one, we click over here and uh, why not start with the body? Name it body of course and uh, base it on no style. Now, like I said, formatting isn't too important, but let's still use the CC pipe font, which would be Nobel and book will be fine. And uh, maybe set it to nine points. And uh, we want to add it to the gallery and to be used for documents based on this template. If you want it to be more elaborate, you can find a lot more options under format. For example, under paragraph, we can set spacing before and after each paragraph. And uh, let's look at that briefly. Maybe we, for example, set a few points before each paragraph. At least I think, uh, I like to think that this might help not getting a document with thousands of breaks, which a lot of people tend to use for spacing. But that's about as elaborate as I'm going to go into this now. And if we press OK, we should then see it in both places. And indeed we do. We can create another one. This time, why not H1? And uh, now we can choose to base it on body we just made and uh, we get the correct font and I'm just going to make it a bit larger, maybe 32 points. And uh, I'll just press OK here as well. Then we would just continue with this until we get something like this, where we have all the styles that we have over in InDesign. And uh, next, some finishing touches, I think. And it is a template after all, so why not add some info in the header that might be useful? Just write in uh, maybe project name and uh, author. And uh, let's also insert the date, which we find under insert, the date and time. And uh, I'll just grab this one here. As you can see, I also wrote out some example text here for all the styles so that the user can see what they all are, just to make it clearer. And to be honest, I also went in and adjusted some spacings uh, before and after. The copy is after all meant to work with this and therefore I still think it should look decent even in Word, right? Um, just grab some example text and try and use the template yourself and see if it works well. The last thing we want to do is save this as a template. And under File, Save As and Word 
template, which would be dot .dotx. And uh, that's really that. And if you haven't already, make sure to head over to my previous video about how to use this template for importing copy over to InDesign. Thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It helps me out a lot. And also if you have any productivity questions or suggestions for future videos, make sure to throw those in the comments below. Once again, thank you and until next time, have a good one.